Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Belle and this is your third stimulus update for the third stimulus package for Tuesday, February 9th. In this video, we'll be discussing your $1,400 stimulus checks, what we know about who could qualify based on the House Democratic latest plan. We'll also be chatting about Democrats pushing forward with a temporary $3,000 child tax credit, but some want to make this increase permanent. And we'll be closing out with some major changes President Joe Biden has in stores for those who receive certain social security benefits such as SSI, SSDI, and the likes. All right, all right. But before we get started, guys, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel like right now. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, guys. I truly appreciate when you do that. It helps get the video out to more viewers like yourself. All right, let's get started. House Democrats have unveiled their plan for $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief bill. Though it's still a draft, it's a starting point for who could receive more direct payments. Most people who receive the previous payments may also get cash with this round, though it could change. Democrats are forging ahead with plans to send millions of American $1,400 stimulus checks. Most recent proposals shed light on just who could be eligible for the money. House of Representatives unveiled its legislative drafts on Monday. Democrats under the leadership of President Joe Biden plan to try to have the $1.9 trillion additional coronavirus aid passed using a process known as budget reconciliation. New $1,400 stimulus checks are among the measures expected to be included. While there is a bipartisan support for both direct payments, some lawmakers have questioned just how generous they should be. Yet other lawmakers have complained the threshold to qualify for the payments could be too generous. Last week, one group of Republicans proposed capping the checks completely for individuals who earn $50,000 and couples with $100,000 thousand dollars in income. Given the current guidelines, payment could be sent to roughly 160 million people. Generally, the payments would be $1,400 per individual or $2,800 per married couple who filed jointly, plus $1,400 per dependent. Unlike the previous checks, both children and adult dependents will qualify. Like the previous two rounds of checks, full payments will be available to the individuals making up to $75,000 in adjusted gross income, head of household with $112,000, 1,500 and married couples who filed jointly with up to 150,000. The payments would phase out completely for individuals who earn 100,000 and couples with income of 200,000. Some questions that I often get, will dead people get a stimulus check? Deceased individuals who passed away before January 1st would not be eligible. The $1,400 payments will be based on the 2020 tax returns, though if those are not on file yet, 2019 returns will be used instead. The legislation is expected to be passed by mid-March, at which point it may take several weeks for direct payments to be deployed. Democrats push forward with temporary $3,000 child tax credit, but some want to make this increase permanent. In the latest stimulus package, Democrats are moving ahead with plans to provide American families with $3,000 per school age child. Although the increase will be temporary, some lawmakers want to see a permanent boost in place to dramatically reduce child poverty in the U.S. On Monday night, details of the policy was released under the consideration in the third COVID-19 relief package. That includes a proposal that would institute a fully refundable child tax credit for 2021 and increase the amount to $3,000 per child, a 6 to 17 and 3600 annually for children under the age of 6. There's already a child tax credit in place that will provide $2000 per child for 2020 when Americans file their tax. They can claim the credit for children under 17. The current credit is income based so those making over 200,000 or 400,000 married will see the amount of their credit gradually phase out. If taxpayer credit exceed their tax owed, they can get up to $1400 as a refund. The Democrat new proposal would increase the credit amount by $1,000, $1,600 for those with children under 6, and allow taxpayers to receive the full amount as a refund. Additionally, the plan will make the credit payable in monthly installs of $250 and $300 respectively, rather than just a once a year. The payments will start to phase out for individuals earning more than $75,000 a year or $150,000 for those married filing jointly. Let me know down below 
know what you guys make of this. Do you agree that this will help reduce child poverty in the U.S.? If passed, the Treasury Department could issue advance payments of up to half the 2021 child tax credit starting in July based on families 2019 or 2020 tax return information. If there's any overpayment of the credit, individuals making less than $40,000, $60,000 for couples filing jointly will not need to repay the amount nor will it be garnished from their wages. Now let's move on to those who receive certain social security benefits such as SSI, SSDI, VA benefits and the like. Okay guys, I've been keeping you guys updated on what is going on about the 200 extra stimulus payment for those who receive social security. Let's chat about that right now. The government annual calculations have shown a rise in the cost of living which Social Security Administration officials have said will mean more money in 2021 for those who receive Social Security benefits. However, one of the biggest proposed changes could come if President Joe Biden's stimulus plan, which proposes at adding an extra $200 per month to millions of monthly Social Security payments once approved. According to the Social Security Administration, the average monthly Social Security checks of a retired person is roughly $1,500. Mental security income payments rise by 1.3% thanks to the cost of living adjustment. The adjustment is affected to affect 7 million people, but that is not enough to combat the current environment that we find ourselves in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. Biden has said he plans to increase Social Security payments by $200 per month, which would affect retirees as well as veterans and supplemental security income recipient. The additional benefits was proposed by two Democratic senators, Ron Wade and Elizabeth Warren. The two wrote, we are pushing to include in Congress next to most package a $200 increase in the monthly benefits for all Social Security veterans, SSI beneficiary through the end of 2021. The two estimated that such supplement would add 4000 extra dollars in the pockets of seniors and people with disabilities who have earned this benefit by contributing to Social Security with every paycheck and improve the lives of millions of Americans and help our economy stabilize and recover. Let me know what you guys make of this down below. Do you agree with the additional $200 stimulus relief payment for those who receive certain Social Security benefits? And do you think it will be included in the next stimulus package okay that is all i have for you guys in this video if you're new here and you haven't already be sure to subscribe to the channel below guys and definitely like this video for me i truly appreciate it and definitely like this video for me to get it out to more viewers like yourself all right let me know down below if you have any questions that i did not answer in today's video i usually go through my comment section all the time and answer questions that you guys may leave okay so as usual guys Guys, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel below and don't forget to like this video for me to let YouTube know that you like what it is that I'm doing here.